However, for the A-team, Peter Elliott is not going to have it all his own way on this opening two laps. The world record attempt at 4 by 800 metres. They run the first bend in lanes and Rob Harrison's gone off fairly quickly. Don't forget the average has got to be inside 147. And Collins Ved, too, on the outside now for the C team is going to be the leader as they reach the breaking point in the back straight. Elliott settles in in second place and Rob Harrison third. And when Elliott ran his personal best in the 3 H championship, he front ran that day all the way. Zed leading. Elliott in second place, Rob Harrison third. Uh, coming into the wind. And the uh, A-team athletes all watching anxiously because of this opening leg is absolutely vital. You, you can see the athletes bending slightly into the wind as they approach the end of the first lap. The need to be on 53.5 and they're inside that at 52.8. So they ride on a world record schedule. Still sped leading. Elliot, the 18 man in second place. Rob Harrison third. And there's going to be a real battle from here on. Wind behind down the back straight. And Elliot takes sped on. Followed by Rob Harrison. So the 18 in front. You can see that Elliot's fighting it very hard. Harrison taking him on now. That should be a lift actually. Because Harrison will take the brunt and force of the wind in the finishing straight. Elliot gritting his teeth, working hard to stay with Harrison. Harrison wants to prove a point to the selectors. And it's going to be a real battle down as finishing straight. And Elliot fading. Harrison for the B team coming away. And he hands over to Steve Caldwell. And it's Gary Cook on the second leg for the A team. So the B team lead. Caldwell on the way. And Gary Cook's got a target. The time for the leader was 1.48. So in fact, the A-team is well outside a record schedule. And Peter Elliott struggled then over the last 200 metres. So, Caldwell leading for the B-team. And certainly now, the A-team has got something to work at and something to make up. Gary Cook, best time this season, 144.71. And he's trying to close on Caldwell, the Bolton athlete, but Caldwell holding the distance. Well, actually, Gary didn't wish to be quite as bad off, badly off as this, but he's in the position. He said he didn't want to be in the lead all the way. He's got a, quite an amount of work to do, but he's, he's gradually doing it. There's no point in panicking and trying to close the gap on the first lap. And Gary's closing the gap gradually and positively. And I think we're going to see this second, second leg. They're picking up a little time now. And they're just inside world record schedule, David. Actually, they went through there at 1,200 metres in 238.9, and Cook has worked his way back sensibly. Caldwell struggling there, and Cook has gradually cut him back, but it doesn't mean to say that Caldwell's finished yet. He should be able to stay with him and really make him battle it out. Cook changing hands there with the baton. I thought for a moment he was going to lose it, but Caldwell now is really struggling, and on the last two laps, well, the last two legs, the opposition is going to be the clock. The next van to go for the A-team is Steve Cram, the fastest van in the world this year. Now the target, as Cook completes this leg, has got to be 3 minutes 34 seconds. And Cook tiring slightly, but that's been a good leg by him in these conditions. And Cram goes on his way to be chased by Chris McGeorge. The time for Gary Cook, he brought us in just a second outside the world record schedule at 335.2. Graham striding beautifully down the back straight, looking marvellously well balanced. McGeorge trying to make an impression, trying to make him race, but of course he's not going to really live with Steve Graham, he's too far behind. So we made Elliott 148 on the first leg, Gary Cook did 146.2, and that I think points to the conditions. McGeorge is closing down on Graham, but Graham, a good judge of pace, will be making sure he's not gone too fast too soon. But did you see Rob Harris, who ran so well for the B team, on the first leg, roaring on Chris McGeorge. And McGeorge right there with Graham, but I wouldn't think the B team will threaten the A. But Steve Graham's still got a lot to do on the last lap, and that leaves Sebastian Cohen in an almighty task. But Seb will love that, the pressure's on, and he's, he's getting ready, he's coming back in shape. You can see he's anxious, and Steve cram has got a race on his hands here. I think the B-team are really enjoying this, probably even more so than the lads who had the pressure on for the world record, David. 
Well, he's pulled back, uh, Chris McGeorge, about 15 metres on Steve Cram, but it's just the sort of pressure that Steve Cram wanted. The time at 2,000 metres, they were back a second inside world record schedule, but it's the second lap that's killing them when they're having to go by themselves, and back into the wind they come, and this is where they're losing time. Look at Rob Harris again encouraging Chris McGeorge, who's now paying for closing the gap. But you can tell the conditions are bad by the way Steve Cram is struggling. And the world record holder now, Sebko on the last leg. And the time there, as Ko takes over, is a second inside the world record. So, the Soviet Union record of 7 minutes, 8.1, should be within reach of Sebastian Ko and this British 18. They've had a struggle to get there, but now Ko, beautifully poised down the back straight. What a magnificent mover he is. So well balanced, so economical, flowing over the track. And Cram's time, my word, 144.6 on the third leg in these conditions. What an astonishing run by Steve Cram. So, the three men so far, Elliot, 148, Cook, 146.2, Steve Cram, 144.6, to put Sebastian Coe and Great Britain in with a marvellous chance of the world record. The time at the bell. Six minutes and nine seconds, and suddenly the world record's at their mercy. If that clock is right, well, they're five seconds inside the world record schedule. Coe absolutely flowing down the back straight, and how these packed ranks of families are enjoying this. Athletics has really become a true family sport, and Coe needing all the encouragement he can get from this packed crowd. The crowd know the world record is there for the taking. Cole relaxing coming into the wind, trying to save himself. And in the main grandstand, they're on their feet, trying to help. Seven, eight point one to beat, and the world record is smashed. Way, way inside. Over four and a half seconds inside. The B team battles on well to finish just outside a world record and Sebastian Coe's time, it won't be recognised as such, 